Hey guys, what's up, Gary? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So let's look at how you need to. Also, remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Wow. Big cards. Also, uh, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. It looks like something that was stuck or unknown, like how it was going to progress or where it was about to go. Either that just became clear or, um, or it's about to be. That's what it was during shuffle. But you got the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo energy. It doesn't have to be. You could be moving. You could be traveling. But it's something that you're, it's almost like you're pulling away from. It's kind of going into this inward energy. Um, you got negative attitudes and fury arguments of possible at this time. So channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening. And then you also have be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. So that's especially with the Six of Swords here. So um, it's, it's almost like you're pulling away from something and then there's, I don't know, the energy kind of funnels. Like, um, but the opposite way of the funnel. Like normally, <laughs> so off topic, you know, like a, I'm just going to say a tornado stands like this, like it goes small to big, opposite, big to small. Show me this um, Six of Swords, please, for Aries. That was so off topic. All right. Way too many. So I guess that's, for some, you could be moving, could be traveling. Oh, good for you. You're manifesting. You're making things happen. You're pulling away from a difficult time, but oh shit. Look, there's something that it's almost like you've been ignoring. I don't know if this is a person, something like that, but it may have kept, you could just be really tired from work, but something that kept pulling you back. So, but it feels like with this four of cups here, there's something that you're not making as much effort to towards anymore. And this is interesting. Show me the three of wands because the seven of swords and the magician, the seven of swords, both of them can be sneaky energies. There's somebody who has tricks up their sleeves. I mean, somebody literally could be coming over. Show me this three of wands. It almost has like a tired of waiting attitude. Yeah, the page of cups, the nine of cups. A couple ways of cook this could go. Somebody's just really not been moving towards their feelings or how they're feeling, or there's a rejected apology. Because somebody's really been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating around the situation that they, you know, like some type of an investment, time, energy, love. And that's what's becoming clear. That's what I was talking about at the beginning. Now somebody's nervous. So, damn, you got the devil and the ace of pentacles. Second chances. This is like an apology. Maybe somebody who's been at a distance or somebody who hasn't really spoke up in a while. But with the nine of cups there, it does look like it makes you happy. Yeah, this could be somebody who goes through the situation before. It doesn't have to be, but um, the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Somebody could have took the car. They might not have ghosted. Somebody could have stole the car in some situations. But it looks like now, either way, somebody is, you know, they're trying to speak up. The feelings are real. The feelings are legit. But I don't know why they're sneaking over here. Let's go back to this. What is the Seven of Swords? No, that's too many. What is the Seven of Swords for Aries? This isn't the outcome, but I'm interested. This is somebody pretty, um, I mean, it's not necessarily, it's just very crafty energy. <laughs> this, oh, shit. The Scorpio and, I'm sorry, the Scorpio. The Death card and the Justice. Scorpio energy, Libra energy. 
And from the moon card, you had the moon in Scorpio. Negative attitudes and theory arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energy into positive physical activity. This is something that ended. It could have ended like with a legal situation. But somebody's trying to change that. Yeah, there's regret now. Embarrassment, that type of thing. <clears throat> this is an apology. Show me this hermit, please, for the outcome for Aries. So the hermit is Virgo energy. Doesn't have to be a Virgo, though. Show me this hermit, please, for the outcome for Aries. Thank you. Oh, we got somebody spying. Um, and the Ten of Cups. So the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords, somebody's trying to approach the situation and more so looks like there's some spying. If there is a legal situation with the Justice card over here, sometimes the, the Page of Swords can indicate um, some type of setbacks. Give me one more for the outcome for Aries, please. And you have been prepared to be adaptable as you have uh, as plans you have laid. It's it's kind of just weirdly worded. As plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. Give me one more. For some, this is just somebody who's trying to apologize, trying to come back around after this five of cups moment. They're nervous. They're really nervous. Still hopeful. But oh shit! Sorry. The Three of Swords, the King of Swords. Uh, okay. Um, this could just be somebody who's fine and trying to come back around. It could be something online as well, like watching you online. But it does, Aquarius energy with the star. It, it kind of feels like somebody, there could have been a third party situation. But I don't see this energy like, um, this is like more so Mr. Investigator type energy. Don't get caught up in gender. But at the moment, that's where it's at. They do love you, whoever this is. You're the nine and ten of cups. They love you a lot. Somebody's trying to apologize, but something's not really connecting there. It's more so like somebody trying to figure things out. Or by ways of like spying or something like that. All right, Aries. I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, uh, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.